Hey all, Sai here. Ah! It's May. May flowers. So I'm going to make a satellite dish into a big flower. That's what my, I'm hoping to do anyway. I have a whole bunch of saws and I'm going to try to use those and just put them on there and see how it works. I had a few saws that husband drilled some holes through right near the handles, but it was a chore to drill through them. So I ended up taking at least two of the handle screws out and I used those existing holes to attach them to the satellite dish. And that worked pretty well. And it was super easy to drill through the dish. And I used a bolt with a nut to hold them on. So this satellite dish we have had for a while and here's the story on it. When we moved here, we were told by the internet people that service wasn't provided where we live. So we got satellite internet and it was really bad. First, they attached it to the house and we called them to tell them we had no signal and they came out and they moved it to this spot here in the yard. But it still didn't work and that really stunk and I had to go into town to upload videos. When we met the neighbors in the area, they all said they had cable internet. So we called the company again and they said, oh yes, we do have it in your area after all. And all they had to do was run a line up to our house and then we had good internet. So I mentioned to husband that we should take the dish down and he said it was cemented into the ground and it would be a chore to take out. And I was bummed about that, but then thought maybe I could do something with it. So here's what I came up with. Well, it's the next morning and I am going to change some position on a few of those and then move on from there. So I adjusted them until they were a little more even. Once I had the saws all around the circle of the dish, I saw it was kind of gapping. So I thought I could remove some of the handles and use just the blades to fill in the gaps. They were pretty easy to remove. I just unscrewed them and popped them out. But the ones that were stuck in there, I used a cap from a different one and put it in there and pushed on it. And they made a really loud noise when they popped out and it scared Wally. Then I would pull the handles off while standing on the blade. And I did that to a whole bunch of them. Then I added these handleless saws to the dish, putting them in between the other saws. I was purposely putting the saws on, pointing all in one direction. Then I accidentally put one on going the wrong way. But then I thought, oh well, so I left it. And I ended up doing that a few other times, but I don't think it's noticeable. Yay, I'm liking it. Yay! Then I added an old 10 inch blade to the center. And I had a little propeller that I found at a garage sale. So I added that to the center of the flower right in the middle of that 10 inch blade. And for some leaves, I drilled through the pole and it was really easy to drill through it, which surprised me. Then bolted on some thin folding hand saws. I'm not sure what they're called. I noticed while editing that Gibby is rolling in the dust back there. He really loves to do that. But anyway, I found these saws at uh, various garage sales and I thought they looked pretty cool. And they worked perfect for the saw flower leaves. And I had two large ones and one little one. And I put those on there to finish it off. Well, it's all finished. Yay! Husband said he liked it, so. That's all that matters, right? <laughs> so thanks for joining me, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Hey, Gibbs. Hi, Gibbilu. Hi, Wally. Hi, Puppies. Oh, Daddy Dad. Oh, Daddy Dad. Ah,